Foods that are high in sugar and fat are actually, um, in many ways, addictive. When kids become accustomed to eating these foods, uh, they want more and more of it. And then ultimately, in the long term, we see kids developing problems like diabetes, like high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Diabetes comes about directly as a result of eating too much sugar for too long of a period of time until you get to the point where your body can't handle it anymore and uh, your body just stops processing it. So that's why that 32 ounce soda, <laughs> you know, you think that it's not that big of a deal, but ultimately it can lead to serious long-term health problems. What really makes me nervous is when we have all these folks who developed diabetes when they were 15 and now they're 40 and they can't work anymore, not only does this have huge health implications, but it also has huge economic implications in terms of our ability to be competitive as a nation in the future. And I'm wondering, you know, how are we going to manage all of this? Sometimes I just want to tell my patients, like, wake up, <laughs> you know, stop buying the party line. S stop listening to the commercial that you hear on TV because they don't care. They're not going to be there when you are on dialysis from having diabetes for 20 years, right? They're not going to be around to help you. So you have to take care of yourself. It's about nourishing yourself.